UCF's first season or their first clubs in college baseball back when they were Florida Tech. Grounder, it's going to go past the third baseman right and into left field, and Bray will take the turn, and he will come in sliding, and it's a lead-off double and an extra base hit for the Knights. 0-2 pitch, grounded. Right handles it at first to throw across, and they get the out. Tigers give up a double, commit an error, but they strand the Knights runner at third. Rain delayed twice. Suspended till this morning. There's a drive. Right center field. This one is gone. It is raining home runs right now for UCF. Furrow with the long ball, and it's 1-0. Threw the fastball. Got up in the zone a little bit. Was looking for it and got every bit of it and drove it. Even against the wind a little bit out to the roof out there in right center. That is his second home run of the season. Here's another look. Gordon knew it right off the launch pad. Inside, tough to hit. Called strike three, second strike out of the inning for Gordon. There's two down. 0-2 pitch. Takes that one for a called strike three. Three strikeouts, but a home run surrendered by Gordon with the Tigers. Top of the third, long fly ball. This could be trouble, and this is big trouble. A home run for John Rice Plumley. The center fielder makes it 2 0 UCF. Well, these UCF hitters are very aggressive. They're big, they're strong, a veteran club, and uh, they're swinging for it every time. And it was not a terrible pitch. Good hard fastball. Got just a little bit more of the plate than he wanted. And made him pay with the long fly ball to left field. Plumlee's first home run of the season makes it a 2-0 game. Who led off the game with a double. Grounder, trouble, it gets by right at first base. Is this a replay of what he did in the first? It feels like you hit your DVR right there. He hit it about the same kind of spot. Another slider. Swing and a miss to get the strikeout. But UCF adds a run on a John Rice Plumley home run. Freshman year is the best five years of my college career. <laughs> Fly ball. This is trouble. It goes over the head of Rice Plumley. And here is Blackwell motoring into second. And the Tigers have a good start here. Here comes the 3-1. He was taking that one, and the Tigers have two aboard here with nobody out to start the fourth. Takes a swing and misses there, and that's going to be a strikeout for Leiter, and there's one down. The 0-1. Grounder up the middle, and it will be knocked down. And then Farrow can't get it out of his glove, and everybody's safe. Pitch to Bertram. And that's going to be knocked down by the second baseman to Jostin, who takes the throw over to get the out at first. But the first runner comes across. It's Benjamin Blackwell, and it's 2-1. There's going to be one that goes right into the glove of Farrow, who makes a great play to get UCF out of the inning. Plumlee and then the top of the order with Brait. That's going to be a walk, though. His first walk with it at, on the mound. 2-2 two -two pitch, and it looks like he hit him. In. And that's going to put another runner aboard. There's a fly ball. Right field charging in after it is Ferry, who comes sliding in, and it gets by him. They're going to send the runner home. Here comes the throw in the relay. There will be no relay. Run comes across. 3-1 UCF. Runners at first and second with one out. Fly ball. Center field. Way back and trying to leap for it, and they're not going to bring in this Canarella. It is a three-run shot for Tom Jostin. And UCF jumps out to a 6-1 lead. Jostin 
That is his second home run of the season, and it comes at a big time. And he walks into a sea of light blue. Third home run allowed by Gordon, but this one came with runners aboard. And Ethan Darden are up. That's a drive that's going to be more trouble. Bodecker will make the turn. No throw coming in, and it's another double for UCF. Ball and two strikes. Swing and a miss to retire the side, but UCF scores four times. We're in scoring positions. Caden Grice strokes a base hit to get the Tigers started in the fifth. Grice aboard for the second time. The 3-0. Takes it inside and walks. A single and a walk to start the fifth. The pitch. Takes it. Bases loaded, back-to-back -back walks. We should pull it through the short third hole. Grounder will be handled by the third baseman. He'll handle himself. One throw, it's not there. Tigers will get one run across, but hold everybody else. It's now six to two. That's gonna drop for a base hit. They make the turn for home. They'll hold the second runner, but with Canarella across the plate, two for the Tigers in the inning at 6-3. Cheryl with a double. Well, I, I could be wrong too. 2-1 Two pitch, and that's gonna go for a base hit. One run will score. Two runs will score. The Tigers are back within a run on a single by Nathan Hall. It is now 6-5. So he got the fastball, and just like we'd hoped, he scorched that one into right field. Both runners on the move with two outs, and he scored fairly easily. Fly ball, left field. Bodecker chases after it and brings it in to end the inning. There's a liner and it's gonna drop in for a base hit. Grice is not hesitating at all and he will come in with a stand up double. Second hit of the day for Grice. Rice takes that one inside, ball gets away. Grice will stand up, he's at third. So Tiger's in a great position now, right? A great hitter, blown away by his fastball. Fly ball, right fielder, Robinson will bring it in. Caden Grice checks across, and we're tied at six. Called strike, and that'll retire the side. But the Tigers tie it. Back in for the Tigers. First batter trying to lay down a bunt, and Darden will make the throw, and it goes wide. Robinson at the plate, and now Robinson winds up at second. Robinson, who came in for Cedarburg. And he hit him. You could hear the contact right there off his padding. Plumley has homered in this game. And there is a drive, and it's going to drop in front of the left fielder, Hall, who stumbled. They will send the runner. Here comes the throw. There will be no relay. Run one scores, but they get an out at third. And there's going to be a base hit very quickly. UCF will send the runner. Andrew Brait will retreat back in time, but he has come through again. What a day Braid is having. That's his fourth hit, and it's an RBI to make it 8-6 UCF. Pitch misses, and it's a ball. Getting away from Gerald doesn't matter. And he'll take his base. And now the bases are loaded. 2-2 pitch, and he hit him. 
That's another hit batter, and this one is going to be costly because it's going to bring a run in. From talent, fly ball, center field, going back for it and bringing it in is Cannabella. That will be deep enough to bring another run home. The third of the inning as Romano comes across, and it's now 10-6. Four runs in the inning for UCF. Gets the strikeout to end the inning, but UCF goes up with four on the board. 3-0 pitch, and he walks him on four. Third, runner is going. The throw from Gerald will be not in time. Don't think it was just handled particularly cleanly and they couldn't make the tag. New pitch. Ferry comes in, makes the grab. They finally get Braid out. There's a grounder. It's going to get by the third baseman, Braid. Canarella with his first hit of the afternoon. It's a one out, two out single. 0 1 pitch. Fly ball, center field, John Rice Plumley chases after it and he drops it, it gets away from him. They will send the runner Canarella around. A run scores. Blackwell winds up at second and the Tigers make it 10-7. Here comes an 0-2 pitch. Grounder will be fielded by Romano, who will do it himself. And UCF has won this series by taking game two by a final score of 10-7 over the Tigers. And they were impressive. They did a nice job today. Thank you.